Hello, here we are at Flipgrid. I like the Flipgrid camera and I'm making this video specifically for any teacher that works primarily from a Chromebook. Uh, why is that? Well, if you have a, a device like a MacBook or an iPad, you already have um, some, some rich video editors that perhaps you could do some of these things on. I love clips on an iPad. It's very easy. Um, and you can you can really mix multiple videos together in a very dynamic way using clips. I like iMovie on uh, MacBook or iPad as well. Um, I make almost all of my videos through iMovie. So uh, for those teachers, they already have some good solutions to create dynamic videos. But if you're on a Chromebook, uh, you're really restricted to using something over the web and there's just not a lot of options out there and I think this would be a, a good one for you. So uh, all I want to do in this Flipgrid topic I've created is you notice I'm the only one that's posted. It's really not for my students. I just use it to make videos. So I'm going to record a response. Okay, I shouldn't have sat in front of a window, but <laughs> you're going to see all the effects that the Flipgrid camera provides. There's all kinds of different uh, borders and, and, and frames and filters and let's just uh, let's get something a little simpler that's fine right there what else do we have uh, filters yes all right so I'm recording or no I'm not recording yet uh, what do I want to do uh, that, that's about that's good with the effects I'm gonna start recording and maybe I start my video lesson this way so that I have some things to point to to recall I have some things to discuss uh, in my in my lesson, I do a portion of my video just like this, and then I could pause the video, and I could rearrange some items. I could put new items on the screen. Um, let's say for this next part, let me delete that sticky note too. I want to go to a board. And I might have some other text down here. Anyways, uh, I'm going to continue recording. And now I'm, I've changed uh, my, my scene, if you will, uh, but I could continue with any instruction that I needed to provide this way. And then finally, I'm going to pause, and I'm going to go to our screen recording and capture my screen. I'll jump over to Schoology. Maybe I go to my Schoology course, and I'm showing my students something in Schoology, or I'm at the uh, online textbook website, and I'm doing something using maybe the online textbook software, but I continue with my video, and ultimately, I'm going to stop sharing, and then my video lesson. I'm this not way. done, so, so if I need to add more, I can go back, and I can add more. Or, if I'm done, then I can uh, simply hit next. My video lesson this way, so that I have some things to point to, see, to recall. There's a few I pieces to of my video here. In my Take a selfie, finish. This is just the Flipgrid process, the interface. Now it's publishing my video to my Flipgrid topic. All this really doesn't matter because I'm going to download the video. I just wanted to use Flipgrid's camera to create something a little more dynamic than maybe uh, a, just a regular screen recording of, of my voice and, and what's on the screen. Now, uh, if you're patient, wait a minute or two. This video will render in Flipgrid, and then you select Actions and download your video. Video is ready to download. You see it downloaded. It's got a funky title, but I can change that. And then I can just jump over to Microsoft Stream or my VR spot. I can upload the video. That would allow me then to embed or share a link to the video uh, for my students or families. But that's just, again, uh, how you could use Flipgrid's camera to create a more dynamic video uh, all in one take using Flipgrid. Uh, and this is most specifically for teachers that are using a device uh, that, that doesn't already have a more robust video editor. Thank you.